everyone welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers as well so we're going to do an updated what are they thinking about you um again it's coming from a request on instagram if you haven't found me on that it's just mystic love tarot uh so come find me okay so this is gonna be deck number one and deck number two pick a deck what are they thinking about you so think about you think about them um go to the one where you're being pulled to with your lower chakras and pick that deck whichever one your lower chakras are number one and that's number two i love that one i love the shine on it matches me hair right three two one ding okay so as always it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy for you all anyone that is asking where the timestamps are they are always in the description just press the down button okay can we get into deck number one's collective energy always blowing timestamps makes me laugh where's the timestamps press the down button can you get me in deck number one's collective energy please and can think about your person can i get into the people's collective energy so i go into your energy i dip into your people's energy and it pulls out the strongest mutual energy between you all so if anything doesn't resonate just remember it for a later date um as you know i'm not really a tarot reader i'm a psychic medium so all the messages that come through are channeled from the higher dimensions okay can you tell me what that person is thinking about the people watching let's have an update on their thoughts I'm going to do a Christmas one. I'm just trying to work out whether to do a live feed or not. Can you tell me what is the collective energy? What are they thinking about the people watching? Da, 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 da. What are they thinking? Good cards. So far, so far we're doing all right. One, let's get another two. Oh! Ooh, we've got some slippery sliding ones too. What are they thinking about the people watching? Three. Oh, I just need to get another one for that. You've got the tower, so I just need to double check. Thanks. And let's just get the overall outcome at the top. I know it's a pain to sit there and watch the shuffling, but if you haven't watched the shuffling, your energy is not in the deck. Okay. So what your person is currently thinking about you, at the moment there seems to be quite a bit of regret and remorse going on. Um, again, this is your strongest mutual energy, so all your individual circumstances will be specific. But what your person has thought has been the right choice, they are now starting to come because a lot of you it's been this processing time and this transition time, your person is now starting to worry that this is the wrong choice and they're actually feeling quite a bit of regret and remorse. And some of them have walked away from the situation and because they've done that, this tower has now collapsed on them because they're actually realising that they've made, been a bit of an idiot and they've made the wrong mistake with it. And they're in conflict about what to do now. Um, a lot of them are feeling quite battered and bruised and drained from the situation. And um, so this, when a lot of, yes, when some of, yeah, okay, so it's when some of the people ended it, not all of you, but some of the people in the situation, when your person ended it, it was a bit of a spur of the moment situation because things had got quite intense and they were worrying about it and they thought, oh, you know what, too much. And they just kind of pushed you away. Now, that isn't all of you, that's some of you, but this, regardless, this tower is falling in the majority of you, this person's tower is fallen. So they are realizing that they've made a bit of an error, which is really, really good. Now they're feeling a bit stuck. They're not quite sure how to progress it forward. The realization has hit them that this probably isn't the right choice that they've made and they're missing you and they're longing for you and they're yearning for you. Um, a lot of you, when it's been easing up the yearning, a spirit is saying that is when your person has been feeling it a lot more. So when you've been feeling, some of you have been waking up and you've been feeling a bit more distant from the situation. And when that has been happening your person has been mirroring that energy more so they've been you've been kind of reflecting it so when you've been feeling better they've been kind of feeling a lower and into that longing yearning energy and um, they are now thinking through their choices they have realized the truth of the situation um, and they are feeling at cross purposes now they're not quite sure what direction they're meant to be going down some of them have got pride 
quite a lot of them have got pride, some of them are just silly, um, and they're just trying to work out what the best thing is uh, for everyone involved in the situation, but Spirit are saying that um, heart energy will pull them forward, regardless of your individual situations, the heart energy is really strong, and the fact that they are getting into this longing and yearning energy and this tower is collapsing for them, this longing energy, energy is getting even more, regardless of your individual circumstances, whether you're still with them or whether you're separated, it's still the same energy. So now they are at cross purpose is trying to work it out they want to get back in touch with you but they are worrying about the kind of conflict they're worrying if history is going to repeat itself they're trying to see into the future and they're pulling out quite a murky shape of what's actually going on and um, what they are doing is they are trying to assume how you are feeling about the situation as well um, so you're both kind of doing that because you're thinking oh what's this person doing what that maybe they acted like this because this that and the other and your person is doing exactly the same so that energy is reflecting on you both too and um, so they are trying to work it all through and um, they are still crossing their heart at the moment keeping a barrier up to let um from re regard to not letting you in but that is shifting that is shifting when the thought process is going on the heart emotions are taking over the head emotions and that indicates their movement is stepping in you've got the knight of swords over here so this movement is going to come in, it's going to feel like nothing is happening and then it's going to be quite quick and fast. A lot of you, I would be surprised if you didn't get messages over the Christmas period, the festive period. Again, that is your strongest mutual energy. Um, or if not messages, you get some kind of commitment and things from them. They are um, going to be making quite a quick movement in towards you. They're going to realise that this tower has happened because at the moment they do, they do know it, they're missing you, they're longing for you and then suddenly it's going to be nothing's happening and then bam, direction and they'll make these moves back towards you. They're realising that they love you and the passionate energy is kind of dictating the situation as well but you have the King and Queen of Cups and you have the King of Wands in the centre of that. So the love energy is between the two of you. This is going to be like a romantic couple based on heart-centred emotions. Um, you know I don't do star signs with tarot for the collective because it's just I could reel them all off um but king of wands here so this guy passion and energy strong energy remember it's never gender specific or sexually orientated either it works on energy tarot works on energy so there's heart-centered emotions there's also passion going to be navigating the situation but this movement is going to be quick and coming in now it feels like nothing is happening but what they are doing is thinking through the process realizing how much they care about you they are on the right path of making their way back towards you the star card i always think of um the kings and baby Jesus and following the star to get to where they want on the right path moving towards you the emotions are they are getting more control of their emotions and your last two cards are the four of wands and nine of cups spirit are drawing me to the pomegranate on this pomegranate used to be a sign of wealth back in the 18th century I'm hearing um because it was quite rare and it, they're, show, they're saying that they are going to realize your wealth they're going to realize your worth um, the more, like with the right amount of space and the right amount of time they're going to realise how worthy like what you are worth and start matching that um, and the nine of cups is talking about your wishes coming true so again with the four of wands are drawing me to the crosses on it there, there is going to be movement towards you the cross is going to transfer from the hierophant where they are blocking it make these moves towards you with the knight of swords and then your cross from here is going to be centered around the two of you and your, your energy is going to mix in the middle with the crossing over. Spirit just showed me um, noughts and crosses. It's, it's kind of like one of you will do a bit, then the next one will do a bit, then one of you will do a bit, then the next will do a bit. Again, that's not all of you, but that is just what they're showing me. Um, when it gets to this stage, when they do make these moves back towards you, it is going to be a little bit like a noughts and crosses game, so just bear that in mind as well. Um, and with the Nine of Cups, this is your Make a Wish, your Dreams Coming True card. Manifest the outcomes you want. Try to keep your energy on a high vibration and keep your thoughts as positive as possible. Um, the love is going to be overflowing between the two of you. Don't freak out if they come towards you and it seems that they are going to be a little bit backwards and forwards again it's a noughts and crosses game give them the space give them the time let them make the moves towards you i've also got a song for you i've just heard it's my life is that bon jovi um that's how your person is thinking about it thinking of making these moves back towards you getting in control of their energy deciding what is right for them and realizing that you are right for them and making the moves towards you so you haven't got long. Again, I would be surprised if a lot of you didn't hear things over the festive period or around New Year. Um, normally, if a person doesn't know when to contact, it's always a good a good little swift, how are you doing over the Christmas festive period? Because they've got an excuse to message. So 
bear that in mind with you all. Um, movement coming. Yeah, the tower has complete. Their tower's fallen. They realise what they've done. They're realising that this relationship is more than what they thought it was, and that is going to be the key back towards you. They're just going to think it all through for a little while longer, process everything. If you haven't read Men Are from Mars, Women Are from Venus, please read that book. Again, I know that's a gender specific book, but it doesn't matter because it works on energy. So if you are masculine energy and you are in a same sex relationship, it will still the book will still count. Um, towards it because just place the energies as the genders um, so please read those books because that gives you a really good indicator about how the other energy is working with you and what's going on I was speaking to a girl yesterday about the rubber band theory and that and you know I said about the rubber band how they pull away and come back that is going to be a bit like your noughts and crosses game so have a read of the book you can get an audio book of it on SoundCloud for free it's my bible when I'm having a wobble put it on Right, let's do deck two, 1039. Okay, can you get me into my collector's deck two? So as always, it's gonna work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So I'm gonna dip into your people's energy and their, uh, and draw energy and pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So anything that doesn't resonate, just remember it. Okay, and so we're gonna do what they're thinking about you. Can you get me into that thought processes? Right, think about your person, let's get into that thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. Someone's just got a really quick, rapid heart rate, so I'll send that back to you, no offence. Um, empath, so we pick up on everything. Can you get me into the feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? Right, can you tell me please, how is the people, the per let me work out how to edit, how did I phrase it with that one? What is their person thinking about the people watching? What are the support processes? What is the thought processes behind? What is their people thinking? You've got the light of swords as well. Oh, spirit are just singing, um, make me a channel of your peace. Coming to put a calming energy into your cards. Someone, will, one of you will have that as your wedding song. And let's get three for the overall outcome. One, two. Okay, we are good to go. So what is currently happening at this point in time? A lot of you, your person has withdrawn from the situation. Those of you that haven't, that hasn't happened, your person is feeling a little bit in stuck and sticky waters. This deck is split into two parts, definitely. Um, Possibly some of you it is a bit of both, <laughs> they've withdrawn and they are in sticky, stucky waters. Um, so they are in the process of kind of trying to pre uh, work it all through in their head. They're having this period of rest at the moment, they are trying to detach from the situation the best way they can. And the reason for that is just because it's consuming their thoughts quite a lot at the moment. So they're trying to, uh, a bit like what you are, distract themselves with other things that they can do. Now that doesn't mean they're going out dating etc, it just means that they're going out with friends, spending time with family. Um, going and doing bits and pieces obviously some of you they will be doing that but the majority of you it doesn't center on that energy that energy isn't coming up within the cards um, so some of them have gone away for the time being and um, physically away as well some of them are going to do a little bit of soul searching spirit are saying they are starting to feel a lot more secure within their environment environment <laughs> that was an accent that was a spirit accent it comes through so quick <laughs> they're starting to feel more secure in their environment they are feeling more grounded um, they're trying to understand what is actually going on on a spiritual level now I know I say that quite a few times but this is what's going through their head at the moment they're trying to understand why the pull towards you is so strong why they are running as well a lot of them are running and they don't understand why they are running because they've never really done that before with someone um, and again it's because the feelings are so intense between the two of you they're not quite sure how to place them so the easiest thing for them to do is either do nothing then they haven't got to make any choices which is a stuck card or do a little bit of a lagger bit of a great escape artist so that's where they currently are at the moment a lot of you will be in a period of no contact or feeling as if nothing is happening getting fed up getting annoyed 
your person is actually in that energy as well um because they have closed off to it they are getting fed up because they're not entirely sure what they're meant to be doing um and they are frightened this person is your people as a whole are that quite frightened by the situation they are at the you've got the caterpillar here and i know i talk about uh, transitioning so the caterpillar then goes into the chrysalis and then that becomes the butterfly your people are at relatively uh, quite a few of them are at caterpillar stage some of them are at chrysalis stage some of you are going into full transformation with the butterfly but for now they are just weighing it all up having a period of break from you um feeling quite heavily burdened by the situation i also feel that a lot of people are putting pressure on them as well family is being brought into this deck not again not all of you but some of you family is being brought into this collective reading for um the temperance card You've got the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So this is saying, um, yeah, you want to go with them. Okay. Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords. So there is going to be, a lot of them have either made a choice that has been quite out, out of the blue and a little bit rapid. They are, again, frightened by the situation. This is what's going on in their thoughts. They are, the energy between the two of you, the passion between the two of you, the love that they are feeling, they haven't really felt before. And it's freaking them out. That's basically the gist of it. It's freaking them out. It's like the shadow. So you've got the hand and then it turns into a claw. They're, they're freaking out by it because they don't understand it. They've not really felt like this before. Um, and because it's an energy pull and it's a soul pull, it's something that they haven't understood and which is why they are kind of looking into what is going on on a deeper level. Whether that is in their dreams, that is coming through in their dreams, or whether they are consciously looking at what's going on on a Googling thing, that's happening with some of them as well. So they're working it all through. Um, this is also indicating movement back towards you. They have gone away for the time being. Quite a few of them have gone away. Um, they are feeling quite stuck because they are frightened about what's going to happen. But you've got the two cups over here for your true love. And even though they turn their back on it for the time being, you've got the six of cups down here. And you also have the six of cups here for reconciliation. So it isn't long. Um, some of you it will be in the spring period. Some of you it is going to be before that. And again, obviously with no direction on timing and your collective energy, some of you it will be after that majority of you you're looking for around springtime for full reconciliation if you're looking for contact likelihood is it's going to come in way before then but full reconciliation or trying again or giving it another go uh, you're looking for around springtime they're clinging on to the situation as well so when they're trying to switch off to their energies and what's actually happening they're trying to close their minds off to it but they are also collectively clinging on to the energy because they just don't know how to channel it they don't know what to do with it and they're frightened but they are clinging on to it with the four of pentacles so escaping it being an escape artist but also keeping it in their heart trying to understand it you know, so it's not as if they're not thinking about you at all. They're just trying to understand the process, trying to understand what's going on. Some of them have withdrawn rather than done a complete runner. And if that is the case, just leave them to it. Let them make those moves back towards you. Again, I say this quite a few times, no amount of pressurising them or texting them and calling them will make this process speed up. So please be aware of that. Your person is then with your reconciliation card. When they've worked it all through, going to be making these moves back towards you with the Knight of Cups, Heart Centered Emotions, and the Lovers. So, this is a really strong love connection energy, and they are aware of that. And that is what is scaring them. They are scared. They're just really, really frightened. It is the claw. So, they're taking this time out now. Some of them have gone away. Some of them are still around but sticky. If they're going backwards and forwards a little bit with you, just give them the time, give them the space. I do say that quite a lot of times, but they've got to work it all out for themselves. Please, um, you know, all your individual circumstances are different, obviously, but Spirit is saying if you are a twin flame and they don't know about it, be careful how you handle telling them if that is what you are going to do, because that will freak them out even more and make them run. So just be, be aware of that, okay? Um, take the time of it. Again, they've got their backs turned to it at the moment, but even with their backs turned, all their chakras are aligning, all the colours are there, all the kundalini is rising up, the chakras are activating, a lot of them are getting goosebumps forwards and backwards, tingles up and down the spine, because this is a divine relationship for the majority of you, and the love is at the centre, and it is a case of divine timing with the clock, two of cups and the clock, divine timing. And with the right divine timing, your reconciliation is at the bottom. Again, passionate energy, strong energy, clinging on to the situation. They have made a bit of a snap judgment with it and they will snap backwards. 
they will they'll snap backwards towards you and again it is very strong heart-centered energy a lot of love and you know they don't they will come some of them will come back with the tails between the legs once the butterfly has transformed from the caterpillar to the butterfly but this is a divine timing type situation but there is love and they know that so they're basically thinking that they love you they're just having a big freak out and trying to work out what the right thing for everyone involved is um, and trying to understand what's actually happened it's, it's caught, caught them a lot on blah, 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 blah. a lot of them it is being can you say it one at a time a lot of them have been caught off guard there was three people then talking to me at once <laughs> um, a lot of them it has caught, caught them off guard um, because the energy is really strong and they just they don't, don't know don't understand and I remember being in that situation so well and just thinking what have I just been hit with? What is this? You know, and you just, you don't understand it. You don't understand it. Um, given the right amount of time, let divine timing take place. Know that there is love and then you have your reconciliations. Two cards in this deck about reconciliation. Your love birds at the top. Memories from the past. The good memories are going to overtake the negative ones. And again, there will be movement towards you. And it looks around springtime for a full reconciliation. Just so keep your head up. Keep your heart strong. That's a song, keep your head. Who's that by? Don't even know who that's by, just heard that. Keep your head up and keep your heart strong. And that's step number two. So if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. I have limited spaces. Christmas is all booked up now, so I've got limited spaces between Christmas and New Year. There is only a couple of left. And then failing that, we'll be looking at, um, some people are booking in for January already. So just let me know. Um, if you do want to book a private reading, email me and we can get you booked in. Um, find me on Instagram, just mysticlovetarot. I love you all. And take care of yourself. See you soon. God bless. Bye.